three, two. All right, now that we have both of the legs set, built, and up, what we're going to do is we're going to inc we're going to attach the lateral support now. It's the UL 13 foot UL rails that come with each of your leg kits. Um, with a two leg mount, you're going to make an X. Uh, anytime that you have uh, more than two legs in the system, you're actually going to make a chevron pattern, uh, which will again provide you that support uh, to prevent any shifting laterally while you build your mount and later on. As you can see, what we're doing here is we're locating the L feet, which will be holding our cross braces. Uh, the top L foot is located one inch down from the top of the back leg. The bottom one, four foot, six and a half inches from the top of the back leg. Uh, one is on the outside of the array. One is on the inside. And what we're going to do, we've made up inside to inside on this, on this leg and outside to outside uh, across to make our cross. The L feet are now located on our back legs. Uh, as I was mentioning, we have the one set is, of rails is going to be on the outside of the leg. One set is going to be located on the inside of the leg. So what we're going to do, using the top, using our 13 foot UL rail, we're going to locate in that T-slot. Just going to do this nice little finger tight just so we can get it located and in place. That's in. We're going to come down here to the other side. We're going to finish off making this cross brace here. Nice and simple. Down just a little bit into there. All right, and if I can grab the ratchet for a quick second. Now that we've got this in, we're going to tighten it down just a little bit. So I'll tighten on one side, tighten up the other side, and we're going to install our second cross brace. All right, one's in. We'll do the second, and then we'll bid on our panel rails. As you can see, we've installed both of our cross braces. We've also taken this time to actually adjust our legs, make sure that they're vertical and square. Um, that you can actually use the cross braces for tightening those up. Um, last but not least as well, notice there's a little bit of overhang on the cross braces as well. If you don't like them, if you find it unsightly, use your recip saw, you can cut them off, take them down flush. But we do give you a little bit of extra wiggle room to start with. All right, now that those are in, it's time for our panel rails. Panel rails are gonna go nice and easy. We're gonna hand the first rail up to Ariana and uh, we're gonna get that located in the, in the upper row of L feet, which we installed earlier on today. All right. Good. All right. So while they're working here, what Ariana's gonna do, Ariana is gonna do, she's gonna line up the T slot in the HD rail with the L foot. It's gonna be a bit of a tight work because we only have the one ladder on site this morning. Um, we're going to get that one situated. She's going to jump over to the other side. We're going to get the second uh, top uh, L foot located and installed. And then from there, we'll continue on with the other rails. It'll go much quicker once we've got this top one in.